What's up guys, on today's video we're going to be talking about getting paid to do habitat management work on your private property. Like I said in the intro, today's episode is all about getting paid to do habitat management work on your private property. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you either maybe own your own private property, you have a family farm or whatever, um, and you're probably already doing habitat work on that property to increase the hunting. Um, maybe you just like to recreate on the property and you like to see more wildlife. Uh, whatever the case may be, um, there's an opportunity that you could be getting paid for the work that you're already doing on your property. So first off, how do you get started with something like this? And honestly, this is probably the easiest part of the whole process. Um, you just call local conservation department in the county uh, that your your property is located. So <clears throat> call up there and ask them, you know, tell them, hey, you want to do some some habitat work for the wildlife on your property. You have a farm in this county. Um, <clears throat> and just ask them if they have any grants available for for some 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 of the work that you're already going to be doing to increase the wildlife. And if they say yes, they'll send you'll schedule a time where an agent will come out to your property and um, you just do a tour with the agent and uh, you talk to the agent about what your goals are on the property. You know we're trying to increase whitetail habitat, bedding, uh, turkey, quail, whatever your case is. Um, and after the tour, a couple days to a week later, whatever the case is, he will email you back a plan and the grant money that's available for that plan. And typically those plans do have a deadline. But yeah, that's that's really the easiest process of the whole thing. Um, just call and ask questions and, and uh, see what's available in your county and um, if it's something that you can apply for and, and get that money to do that habitat work. Once you're approved, the work really begins. And uh, so I'm going to go in this video, go over some of the stuff that we were approved for on our property. So just to give you a little context, our our property is located in um, kind of south central Missouri. We have 360 acres. It's our family farm. Um, and I would say 350 out of the 360 is all closed canopy hardwood forest, hickories, oaks, cedars. Um, so you know, we have, we do have some openings for some food plots and stuff like that, but, um, uh, it's pretty, pretty dense forest. So we were approved of a total of 16 acres of timber stand improvement. And as you can see on this map, the red areas are the areas that we had timber stand improvement and up to four acres of a permanent forest opening. And that's basically a permanent forest opening is basically a fancy word for saying a new food plot or a new field. And as you can see on this map, it's the areas that are highlighted in the green. And now for the timber sand improvement, um, basically all that is is just chopping down undesirable trees, cutting down undesirable trees with a chainsaw. And part of our timber sand improvements, we picked our couple biggest cedar thickets that we have on our farm and it's just basically knocking down all those cedar thickets and every tree that's in between and in our case it was you know dense cedars and spread amongst them were um, a ton of hickory trees and these timber stand improvement areas we just basically went in a systematic line you know started at the bottom of the hill cut across till those fell down the hill then you go up cut across those fall on each other go up just a systematic approach and just pretty much knock down all the undesirable trees you know there might be a few white oaks or something left behind that we decided to keep those were the projects that we were approved for and uh, I actually have some drone footage one of the areas on the on the south part down here I have a before and after of drone footage um, and then I'm going to call this other one to the north, um, our north central section. I don't have a before and after, but I, you know, I do, or I do have an after. I don't have a before. Uh, I'll show you some drone footage of what, what it looks like when we're done. And then I'll show you the drone footage of the two openings that we were um, approved for. This first drone footage is of 2018. And this is the area far south of our, uh, our far south TSI project. This next shot is this winter 2019. As you can see, it's the same type of shot, but there's about eight acres of timber stain improvement all done on the right side. It looks like a complete mess, and um, it kind of is, to be honest with you. 
but you know, once we burn that and, and get rid of all those cedars, it's really going to look nice in there once the native grasses start growing through. This next section is the north bottom, the north central part of our farm. This is the uh, far north section of, uh, of our TSI project, and this is probably about six acres or somewhere in there, six to seven acres. And again, this was another really dense uh, cedar thicket and really dense hickory thicket, pretty much, if you want to call it that. But I like this timber sand area a lot. Um, if you look at the map again, there's one, two, three, and four of our main food plots, those, including those two new ones um, that are just up the ridge from that. So that's going to be an ideal bedding area for our deer. So the next drone shot is going to be a shot of this food plot. Uh, we're going to call this the S plot. And the last drone shot is going to be the uh, the west food plot, which we're going to call the kill plot. So pretty much all the work that we did on our farm, we'll be able to use that money to pay the dozer guy for the work that he did. So it's pretty much we got free food plots out of the deal. And, um, you know, if we get paid the, the full amount, then we'll actually have some money left over where we might buy a new uh, farm implement for our tractor or whatever, just something that you can reinvest into the farm. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe down below. Uh, comment, share, tell your friends about it. Uh, hope you find it somewhat informative. And um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll be, we'll be doing some more uh, HTO off-season videos. Thanks for watching.